everybody, this is Dana Jones from Sela Creative Company. I'm partnering with Joann's today to show you how I made this Swiss cross feature wall on a budget. If you have a Cricut and a little bit of creativity, you can do this too. We recently remodeled this bathroom and I wanted to continue a Swiss cross feature wall that I had done in the adjacent room. Because we were on a budget and didn't want to pay for wallpaper, I decided to use my Cricut machine and some vinyl instead. All in all, this project cost me about $15 and took a couple hours to complete. I'd rank this project as moderately difficult and a basic understanding of design and using a Cricut is necessary. Tools you'll need for this project include a Cricut cutter, mine's an Explore Air 2, a laptop to do your design work and communicate with your Cricut, a design program such as Adobe Illustrator, or a basic understanding of how to design in Cricut Design Space. Cricut Temporary Vinyl. Basic Cricut tools like a 24 inch cutting mat and a weeding tool, a level with measurements on it or a level and a tape measure, and a pencil or a Sharpie. The first step is to create your design. I found a basic Swiss cross on Google Images, saved it to my computer, and then uploaded it to Adobe Illustrator. From there, I determined how large I wanted my crosses to be, which in my case was three and a half inches in diameter. Then I duplicated the cross and created a template that would maximize the amount of Swiss crosses I could cut out on a 24 by 12 inch sheet of vinyl. And then I saved the file as a PNG to my computer. The amount of crosses you need will be determined by how big you want that to make them and how large your wall is that you want to cover. For my specific measurements, I was able to get 20 Swiss crosses on each 24 inch sheet of vinyl. Then I opened up my Cricut Design Space on my computer and uploaded the PNG file. I resized the PNG file so that it fit on a 12 by 24 inch cutting mat. Clicked make it in the top right hand corner. Clicked OK on the size. Click continue in the bottom right hand quarter. And once the project was ready to be cut on the final screen, I loaded my 12 by 24 inch cutting mat with my black vinyl. I pressed the forward arrow button. And then the Cricut make it button. Once the vinyl was cut, I used my Cricut weeding tool to weed all of the excess vinyl off the sheet, leaving the Swiss crosses on the backing. Then I grabbed my level. My level has a built-in ruler on the side, which is super helpful, but if yours doesn't, just use a tape measure and mark out the desired distance between crosses. For me, I want my crosses 14 inches apart. But because we're creating staggered rows, I marked 7, 14, 21, 28, and 35 to make it easier. Now, marking the wall where you're going to be putting your Swiss crosses is probably the most challenging part of this project, but we'll be using our level and a pencil to make it as easy as possible. To begin, use a tape measure or your marked level to make small marks on your trim every seven inches. This will be where every staggered row begins. I also added a line of blue painter's tape to a marked point where I would be starting every other row. This visual really helped me speed up the process. If you are starting your Swiss cross right on top of your trim piece, this step is unnecessary. But because I was continuing this pattern from another room, I had to match the height of the first row. To begin marking, determine a starting point. 
Place the corner of your level on the starting point with the level pointing vertically. Place a dot with your pencil at the bottom corner of the level and then at 14 inches, 28 inches, 42 inches, etc. You may have to move your level up to complete the row like I did. Then from your initial starting point, you will use your level to move over seven inches and up seven inches. Place marks at seven inches, 21 inches, 35 inches. I filmed this portion of the video twice, so you're seeing this without the blue painter's tape in place. But trust me, the painter's tape line is really helpful. Continue this process of measurements and dots, staggering your rows in the process. This gets too frustrating for you. I want to stop for just a second and start putting some of these stickers on the wall so that you can see the work that you're doing and see that you're making progress. So we're going to take our sticker sheet, we're going to peel them off one at a time, and we're going to place the bottom corner of the bottom part of the cross on every single dot, okay? Place the bottom left corner of the Swiss cross on the dot, being mindful to place the sticker on straight. From now on, with every sticker you place on the wall, you'll want to match that bottom left-hand corner to the dot. This ensures that all of your stickers are evenly placed on the wall. The neat thing about using non-permanent vinyl is that if you place the sticker in a crooked position, you can take it off and re-stick it to the wall. Continue placing the crosses on the wall, matching the bottom left-hand corner of the cross with the dot. And as you can see, we are creating the staggered lines perfectly. Continue measuring your lines and placing dots on the wall. And keep adding your stickers. Once you get the hang of it, the project speeds right along. If you get to the edge of a wall surface, in my case the baseboards, and your Swiss cross needs a little trim, you can use a rotary tool, a razor blade, or a pair of scissors to make the cut, and then peel away the vinyl. And there you have it. We've added some wood shelves, a table, and some decor, and now our Swiss cross wall is the highlight of our newly renovated bathroom. Thanks for joining me on this project. I hope it's inspired you to create an out-of-the-box focal wall on a budget in your home.